Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains, and thanks for joining me for another video. Um, so you see, you can, as you can see, we're down on the layout. Um, what I want to do now, now that we've finished that Higby's background building, I want to start installing a lot of this stuff onto the layout and actually building up this city scene. Um, so I'm giving you a view of how this is going to look, and we'll take a look at how this is going to lay out. So these are some old buildings that I had. Let's pull these out. So we built this in the last series. I, you've seen this before, this gas station that I redid. So I've drawn out some plans here. So this line here, there's a line here and a line here. This is this road that's coming here. And it's going to connect into a road going straight across here. And I want this front entrance to be lined up with this road so when you look down the road you see this building just like you see it here. Um, the gas station is going to go here. There's no, no room to put anything over onto this side of it. Um, I've, I'm considering making a cutout building to go right here. Something where it's only a, a triangle of a building. So it would be something like a building that's cut off like this that will sit in the front here of this, uh, I don't know, just, just thinking out loud, this is kind of what I'm thinking, but I don't know. Um, and then we have this corner block here, this, this road here connects into where the other stuff is, and it has the grade crossing here. Um, so I have this strip right here, and I have this block right here to fill. Now, you might be asking, what are we going to do with this space right here? Well, this space right here, I'm actually considering, and, and I think I might do it, is adding a um, parking garage there. And then that, into this space right next to the building, I'm, I'm considering adding a parking garage into that area there. Um, just to take up space, I don't have to worry about lighting, I don't have to worry about pretty much a lot of stuff that, go, that goes on in there. So I, I think that's what's going to go there. I may or may not do a series for it. Uh, it, it all depends on how involved I want to get with it. Um, but you'll definitely see it at some point. So this other area right here and right here I have this set of buildings here this is going to go in here and it's going to line up right to the edge of the layout right here and we'll leave enough room for the sidewalk down the front this little hump of grass here will have to come out and then we'll push this right in here like this so with that one in there I don't really have to do a lot to this, but obviously I do want to strip this down and repaint the whole thing. Um, I may pull the buildings apart and reattach them a little better. Um, I, I think I can do much better than that. So that's this building. Um, the next buildings I have is this. Now, this building here um, is going to go into this corner right here like this now I'll have to remove this end of the building right here this this section of building right here is gonna have to go along with this last section here so it'll be just a small block of buildings right there a parking garage across the backside here and then this road I'm gonna bring it we're gonna cut out some of We're going to cut out some of this raised terrain that I have in there. And then the road will turn into the backdrop and we'll blend that in in one way or another. And then that'll take care of that little city scene. All right. So now we have... Now we have this whole area here. And... What I have in there is the used car dealer that we did the series with. We have the strip mall all right in that spot right there. 
and I believe I showed you how I did, yeah, there should be a series on how I built that parking lot and road. Um, so now's the time that we want to, let's start building this. Let's put it down and get these buildings so that there aren't wires sticking out everywhere and everything is starting to get installed. Okay, so I've taken everything out and what I've done is I've traced out the edge here of the the, the roadway, right? And this has all been re-smoothed and we've got a nice good clean surface. And what I want to do now is I want to cover this with some caulk and I'm just using the same stuff I use for everything. Dino, Dinoflex 230 is what I'm using. Um, it works pretty good. I, I use it for a lot of stuff. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay a whole bunch of this down Now, some of these edges in here, some of these up toward here and out toward the ends here, I will come back and re-tack those. What I want to get now, what I'm concerned with, is the center parts, everything toward the middle. I want to get every, all of that set down. And then I'm going to take on top of this, just so that it doesn't lift, I'm going to put some weight on that, and then we're going to let that sit. Alright, so that's all weighted down. Now we'll come back. I'll let this sit for about an hour. And then we'll come back, we'll pull the weights, and we'll start placing buildings. Alright, so everything's dried up. I pulled off the weights. And now we have this. This is all in. Um, now we want to start laying down the buildings. Let's start with this strip mall. We have the strip mall here, and this is going to sit right in here like this. There we go. Goes right in here like this. Just like that. So we're lining up the edge of the sidewalk to the edge of this space, and the same with this one over here. But before I set this down, we have to mark where the wires, we have to drill a hole for the wiring to go down through the layout so that this building will sit down in. And what I need is a marker. And we're going to lift this building up like this, and we're going to put a mark, yeah, right there, and we'll set this to the side. So now we need to drill a hole right here. So let me get a drill, and we'll drop a hole in right there. Okay, so I have my drill, I'm doing a 3 16 hole, which is a fair amount bigger than what I need. But I want that for uh, space adjustment so that I can move the building one way or another uh, and not have to change the hole. Now to drill through this, I'm going to run the drill backwards. Alright, so when I drill through styrene like this that's been glued down, I run the drill backwards so that we don't tear up and pull up with the twist of the drill, the, the styrene. And as soon as you get through the, 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 the styrene, you can reverse the drill, go forward, and drill right through. That way you don't tear up any of your work. So now we can take this, push the wires down through, and this can go right into place. Okay, so now this fits. 
right into where we want it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a little bit of caulk underneath the main part of the building and then later I'm going to come back with some CA and I'm going to put it under the sidewalks so that this stays flat down like this. So let's um, let's get this flipped over. Now I'm just going to take some weight and drop on top of this very carefully. Okay, so now that's weighted down and I did pull off the front sign here as you saw, but this will glue right back on. Um, now we need to let that sit for for a little while until it totally sets up. Alright, so everything is dried up in here, and I've gone a little bit further than what I showed you on the camera. I've actually painted everything that's going to be uh, dirt and grass and things like that brown. So now you can kind of see the layout and how this is going to kind of come to be. Um, and I think that's where we're going to leave it um, for this video. Um, I also, I don't know if you noticed, but I also lined out these no parking zones here um, they weren't done before I, I overlooked it when I was striping the parking lot so I got that done as well so now all of this is down these buildings are down they are mounted in place everything's good um, the one area that I had talked about in previous videos when we were when we were talking about planning all of this was this area right here and this area right here I originally was going to just grass and dirt this over, um, but somebody brought up, and, and I kind of agree with it, that it's kind of a dead area, and to just fill it with grass is, is kind of the easy way out, and I want to do something a little more with this spot, and I want to put it to use. So, with all that being said, I had, what I originally had planned was I wanted to put a, a food truck in here, okay, like, like a, you know, a food truck and then put some picnic tables and that kind of a thing and just I want to keep it low to the ground so that reaching over you're not apt to break anything um, because it is right in front um, but what I came up with instead of the food truck here's what I have I would gotten this building a few years back my wife got it for me and you know, I like the building. It's 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 pretty nice. Um, there was no lighting, and it originally sat right about right here. Um, but in order to to use this, um, and and he, here's here's where the idea came in. I wanted to put something here, so we have this building. And what I did was I I pulled off the building from the thing here. So we get rid of that. Now I have just this small building. And my idea that I had was to have like a small um, takeout restaurant, right? Walk up, takeout kind of thing. Um, and that's what this is. By taking this off that platform, it just leaves me this small building. And what I did so far with it, and you can see the roof's not attached, is there were windows on the sides, on both sides here. Um, I filled both of those windows in with some brick from one of the other buildings, and then I'll end up repainting this. And this building is going to sit right here, like this. And I've actually been playing around with it. I have a little bit of sidewalk here, and then this would sit right on top of the sidewalk to have a small bit of sidewalk in front of it and then if I flip this around you can kind of see what that's going to look like um, so it'd be kind of like that let's see if I can the angles I'm at with the camera don't allow me to show this quite the way I'd like to what we're looking at is something like that alright 
and filling in the windows on the sides lets this look like a true walk-up place with big giant picture windows in here it doesn't really you can't do anything with it okay it doesn't even say restaurant to me it just says big open building but filling these two side windows I can now go inside of this put it on a small base such as this sidewalk now I can add an interior to this okay and it leaves the, the side doors open the whole front and side doors I can put a, a divider across I can add lighting to the inside and then we're gonna mess with some LEDs on the outside edge that overhangs the front and I think I'm gonna see I'm gonna start experimenting with LEDs see if I can get some yellow LEDs to shine down in the front to uh, give the look of the bug lights like you would see in a, in a small place like this an outdoor place so that's going to sit right here and then we'll have a nice dirt parking lot I'll get a couple picnic tables to throw in here a little bit of parking and that takes care of this whole area it's nice and low um, this ice cream cone may go I don't know haven't decided yet but that's the plan for this front area so now this is gone so now this whole area is all filled in just the way it should be now of course this needs to be dirt and grass um, I have this fence I, I bought some of this fence I've had it hanging around the house for a while let me move the camera around and I'll show you how that fence is gonna go okay so this fence now there's a post here so I have to put it upside down but what's gonna happen with this is this will come in like this I'll make it longer obviously I have another kit of this fence um, this will come in here like this it'll come right down and it'll border out the whole parking area in the back all this area back here so that there's an actual parking lot we'll build a gate into this into this fence you know narrow small gate right in the side here and then this is all used cars these are used cars I can even put a few more along this wall here along this side of the parking lot and voila we have a used car dealer and then all I need to do is figure out for a sign to go in the front here this will be grass everything brown is grass or just dirt and that's it um, this area is, is pretty well you know set up for whatever I want to do now um, I, I we definitely want to add some um, well I'll do a video for it some parking lot lights out here working parking lot lights so I'll do I don't know like one two three maybe four or five of them across this length double-sided parking lights uh, so that's gonna be the rest of this series we're gonna set up this area for the next few videos anyway we're gonna be working on this area out here um, and then once this is done then we'll move into the city part which is over here and we're still in the planning phases of that um, so anyway uh, this is where we're at um, I, I think we've got a good start on it I think it's all gonna gonna look really good so that's gonna be it for this this week anyway um, I hope you enjoyed the video I, I had a ton of fun making it and uh, you know if you're just joining me for the first time please by all means sign up um, subscribe to my channel love to have you along don't forget to like and share my videos if you're already subscribed or even if you're not um, so until next time happy modeling